Ver- Ta- Taylor May freestyle. Now versus Euphoria. This is second round. <coughs> In my opinion. <coughs> so y'all saying that it was it was it was whack? Is that what, what y'all saying? Sa- what? I ain't saying Sam. it was whack. I'm but. saying I think both of them hit each other with a up. Like dead nigga, I'm here. Take this. What was you about to say? If I'm the judge, I'm gonna say both of you guys are leaving here with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but go in the booth and redo that shit. Both of y'all come back with some with some better with a better case. All I gotta I say is it's one nigga with the weirdest position in this shit. Even though it's a lot of niggas versus the light skinned nigga. But the fat nigga, man. He got the weirdest position in this beef. He keeps speaking on it and trying to jump in this shit. <laughs> Ross. What? Yeah, he like. <laughs> he trying to insert his shit. Like, dude. And get stop. in here like, bro. <coughs> but he. But I'm, wait, no. I Drake talked weird. about him first. Yeah, yeah. that's and true. And push-ups. Here, and I think it's weird, though, right. that Drake trolling Kendrick Lamar, but he ain't trolling the nigga that's trolling him. <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. Who, Ross? Yeah. The, the song that Ross put up, the shit that Ross put up wasn't worth even responding to anymore. Man, get out of here. That's what Drake's saying. Get out of right. here. Out of here, man. You the only person out of 100 people. I love that song. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I love that song. Hey, my man, my man shit we made a post on these said, yeah, man, Ross it. really applying pressure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. The only thing Ross, he said was that. BBL Drake. <laughs> no, that shit Listen, don't hit with me, bro. I think bro. y'all tripping. Kendrick. I've heard so many people say, oh, I don't want to have to dissect. What is there to dissect? If you go to the lyrics, that shit was straight at your face. What he's saying in the first bar, in the first stanza, he's talking about Drake being fake, an actor, all this type of stuff. You spiraling. You trying to still catch up with these young kids like little Yachty to stay relevant. So he gets into that and he playing Teddy Pendergrass. You're my greatest Mm -hmm. and my latest, my greatest inspiration. That's Kendrick. He always say, like, I want to murder motherfucker rappers. That's my inspiration. That's what keep me going. And then once he keep going, like, far as the bars, we, man, he put a lot of shit out there about Drake. I ain't gonna, like I said, that shit was far. A lot of shit that was already known. The same shit Pusha T said. This nigga didn't too much. You can't nothing. tell me when that nigga said something. That's what he told him. He about. said, "Push." He said, "He said push up." He said, "Don't, uh, <laughs> don't push a P, nigga. Push a T." <laughs> Let me see you push a T. <laughs> yeah, that shit me? was hot. Yeah, you better yeah, off yeah. spin it back on him than before, spin it back yeah, before, on before, me, before, nigga. Before. And you couldn't even do that, Jay Prince. And he brought up Jay Prince. I don't mm-hmm. care. I think that bar about that when he said your daddy a killer. And the, basically, the junior trying to be like him. He was talking about, man, mm-hmm. yeah. And then he went after uh, Lil Wayne. You signed to another nigga that signed to another nigga that's like, man. Mm-hmm. Now, when you was talking about him being uh, goofy at the uh, at that time, at the end with the Crody shit, mm-hmm. he was mocking a Canadian slang and a can- uh, Canadian type of the way they talk. That Crody. Okay, <laughs> yeah, all right. So he okay. was mocking him. Oh, that was him right, showing right. his humor. <laughs> But it's, man, I'm about to break a whole lot of shit down. It's not that hard. It was in people's faces. He said he's Terrence Thornton. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. Terrence Thornton is Pusha T. I'm Terrence Crawford. I'm Bud, the nigga that just whooped Errol Spence. Yeah. You, that's right. under, you feel me? I'm whooping feet. Like, man. Whooping feet is a, a, a term in Los Angeles for whooping a nigga ass. It derived from whenever a motherfucker would beat a nigga ass so bad, he would hey, come man. out in shoes. Mm. When I see you stand by Sexy Red, I believe you see two bad bitches. <laughs> I believe you don't knowledge. like women. <laughs> Hold on, comp- listen. That's real competition. Listen. You hear me? <laughs> when I see you stand by Sexy Red, I believe you see two bad bitches. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. I know Megan Thee Stallion was somewhere like, yes, I. Like going off, cause you know she threw her little shot at Drake and uh, the hiss, talking about mm-hmm. him getting surgery too. Yeah, mm-hmm. you always, you know, be on some. I love, I love you, Drake. 20, but twenty one v one. Hey, you said what he say? Said something about it. Twenty one. He got to fight his ghostwriters hey. too. Crazy. Hey, what he say? Uh, I told a bitch she got shots, but she's still a stallion. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, man, it's a whole lot of jewels he dropped Ken, in this mud. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, 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 she don't I even get it, she still smiles. I said if this beef ever go and a motherfucker just like on bar side, bro, I'm a Dre fan, but I think Kendrick, bro, would literally stand over. 
Because mm. dude just, I don't know. He just, I don't know. Mm. All right, so. <clears throat> oh, well, let, let me, me, can I say this too? Go ahead. When you were saying that he was talking about hating, hating. That came from him, you know, going back to this old uh, Breakfast Club uh, interview mm-hmm. with DMX when he came on there. And Charlamagne was like, how, they was asking him, how you feel about uh, Drake? And he's like, man, I hate like, the way yeah. you talk. I hate yeah. the way you yeah. So okay. that was the reference of him that. saying that. But like, yeah, like, mm. man, y'all got to go back to that, that verse and just read it. That nigga was dropping a whole lot of jewels. God damn it, I don't care. He said, let your core audience stomach that, then tell them where your abs came from. <laughs> BBL Drake. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, Tummy Tuck Drake. Yeah, man. Allegedly. How about Kanye saying how they all got together collectively to eliminate Drake? Hmm. He, he pretty much exposed the myth. What what Drake said. It's a 20 V <laughs> Oh yeah, another thing Kendrick said, it ain't a 20 V one, it's a one V twenty. That's a ghost rider. You got people. Yeah. He got mm-hmm. them ghost riders. Mm-hmm. So he said some shit. It was beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, fuck I, with, I fuck with Kendrick, bro. So do, do, which one do y'all feel like Ooh, has more replay value in their music, though? Drake could turn this song into a hit record. That, that is so Dropping cool. Give Me 50 on the radio right now, spinning. Shit, that's what how Kendrick back said. Back he said you make spinning that. and spinning and spinning and spinning. Kendrick so, said like you make that the music still. that pacify him. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't mean, I don't know. Like, Drake known for the play value. You know what I mean? Kendrick's not. You know? I, but, but at the same time, Drake got different <laughs> motherfuckers behind him that'll make it that anyway. Drake is a percentage owner of Universal Music Group now. Like he owned a percent of that shit. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's a whole different. I think so. Look that up for me, Chuck. Mm. I want to be on here lying. Can I give a rap theory? <laughs> uh, like a rap conspiracy theory? Uh. It's mighty funny that. See how you kept mention, mentioning Taylor Swift and everything? Taylor Swift. That's who. That's and Kendrick has already Kendrick worked. To. He already worked with Taylor, Taylor Swift. And you see how Drake had mentioned in Taylor, right? It's mighty funny that Like That has been number one on, on the Hot 100 Billboard charts for weeks now. Mm. For weeks. And I told somebody, I said, I got a feeling Kendrick is going to wait until Like That drops off the charts, and then that's when he's going to drop his this. And I be damn. Taylor Swift is dominating, what, 50, the whole 15? Me and that nigga Yago counted them. The whole 15, he, he and he went dropped down the, it on Taco Tuesday. He went down the billboard, mm. and I'm talking about nigga Taylor Swift is running that motherfucker, bro. Mm. But I, is she in cahoots? Are they talking in the background like they saying, Kendrick? No, they saying Kendrick is signed to Taylor Swift now. That's crazy. And she mm. made that's why him said, wait that's to why, drop his diss. That's why Drake mm. said, Drake ben said the, that. Uh, Taylor's the new top. Mm. That's crazy. You gotta wait to get, you gotta wait you to gotta, get approved f- so you can drop. Mm. I fuck with the Swifties. Mm-hmm. Yep, then they need the that verse for the Swifties. The Swifties <laughs> got <laughs> money. <laughs> Drake Ben said they three took weeks Travis ago. Kelsey. Mm-hmm. So <coughs> you got something for me, Chuck? I don't see anything about him <coughs> owning any of the company, but he references owning his own masters. Okay. Well, can you see if Kendrick Lamar signed to Taylor Swift in some way for me? And then we about to go to another Say, topic. Kendrick signed to what? Taylor Swift. Okay. Or would that be some type of publishing or uh That's crazy deal? though. That's what I'm saying. If he's connected to it in any way. In any way. They make they make excuses for me because they love to see me lit. Mm. And make excuses for you because they. Love, I mean, but even if he is signed to her, that's what he said. What's what's the bad? What's is that bad? Well, he just got to drop and give all his money to her now, like he said. I mean, shit, it ain't no different from what he got to do. He Thank you. Cashing out too. Thank you. How if he just said he owned his masters, bro? If you, you said if you, if you, you said to a nigga, true. if you think Jay Prince ain't got his motherfucking nails and sunk into this nigga Drake, he's gonna make a living off of this nigga, bro. Mm-hmm. Jay Prince Jr. is the who the motherfucker that discovered motherfucking Drake, bro. Them niggas mm-hmm. is, bro. You tripping? Uh oh. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. So listen, <laughs> you right. 
<laughs> Jay Prince, the one that went to Birdman and told that nigga chill out. Right. I just hope that was a hundred years ago. That's my money, ago. nigga. That's my investment. Yes, that was chill forty out. years ago, bro. You been hey. got your psh, out the way. Come on, man. Nah, bro. They, well, that's nah. 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 All right, bro. They that's want to push a T and all to try to settle all that too. That be that's, that's a forever. All right, but listen, let's take it out of the business side of it and let's bring it back to the the topic at hand, music wise. Where we at with it? Do we want to see this continue? And I believe. Drake about to drop something now. Mm-hmm. Now that like that ain't at the top. I feel like he about to come mm-hmm. back with one. I can see that. I'm not now, mad did, at did it. Did he say at the end of the song that he was going to wait? Mm-hmm. He said, uh, Taylor, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go ahead and let you do your little uh, and I'm going to wait. Mm-hmm. So that means he already got something now. But I did see a clip with him being on tour with, uh, with uh, well, not on tour, but he did a show with uh, Nicki Minaj. And when he ended, he was like, all right, y'all, I got to go. Y'all know what I got to do. And walked off. I did see that. So. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's on. Hmm. It's on. 